What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today, we are continuing the Instructor Beats Guide to Surface Area. This is part three, where we're going to start diving into some exciting content today. Our objective today, I will be able to find the area of a triangle. So we're really going to be building on um, our first video of how to find an area of a rectangle. You may know the formula for the finding the area of a triangle, but we really want to dive into what the conceptual part of that is and why that formula works today. And then tomorrow or on the, in the next lesson, we'll be using it to find um, the surface area of a triangular prism. So our math vocabulary. This is a review of our first video in this series, but area, right, is the um, space that covers the inside of a two-dimensional object. And so we have a couple two-dimensional shapes right here. We have a rectangle, circle, and a triangle. And area is the same for all of them. The area is the space that it would take to cover completely the inside of the shape, right? Now, I'm not going to take my time to make this perfect, but you kind of get the point. So you can find the area of a circle. You can find the area of a triangle. And we already know how to find the area of a rectangle because we did that in our very first video lesson for this series. Um, and all of them are measured using square units. So square feet, square inches, square miles, square kilometers, square centimeters. They're all used um, with square units, which again, takes us back to our first video lesson. We're trying to cover the inside of the shape with an array, with square units. So if we know that, if we know that the area is the space inside, we need to begin to explore what that means for a triangle. So we know for a rectangle, we're doing length times width. We know that. That's the formula for a rectangle. That does not work for a triangle or a circle. So the first thing we need to recognize is that if we take a rectangle, right, and we split it in half going from corner to corner, we actually have made two different triangles. So our first thought is a triangle is half of a rectangle. And that's true for all triangles. Now, you might have to break them apart and maneuver them a little bit for you to visually see that. But a triangle is half of a rectangle, right? And so that's the first thing we need to do. We have two triangles that are making up this rectangle. That is always true. Now, for this instance, um, and really, if you're ever breaking a rectangle, it's always going to be a right triangle because it's going to have a right angle in it. But our first thought that we need to know is a triangle is half of a rectangle. So how does that help us figure out the area of a triangle, right? And so here's our formula for our area of a rectangle. So for the area for this rectangle, we're going to do uh, our length times our width, right? So our area is going to be 12 feet square. If we take what we learned in the last section, which is a uh, triangle is half of a rectangle, and we split this into, from corner to corner, into half, if we know the entire inside is 12 feet squared, right? But we don't want to know the um, area of the entire rectangle. We just want to know the area of one triangle. Okay. Well, what can we do there? Well, if we know that it's half of a rectangle, then can't we take the area and divide it into two, right? Or multiply it by one half. So we could do one half times 12, which would be six. So the area of this triangle is six feet squared. Well, this is where the formula for a area of a triangle comes from. To find the area of a triangle, this is a formula that you always use. One half times length times width. So what we're recognizing in this formula is that this, right, this part right here is the formula for the area of a rectangle. And a triangle is always one half of a rectangle. And so if we take one half of the area of the rectangle, that will give us the area of a triangle. So our formula is one half times length times width, or in other words, one half times the area of the full rectangle. Now, the other way a lot of times you're going to see this, it won't be the length times the width. They're going to rename the length as the base of the triangle and they're going to re or the length and they're going to rename uh, the width of it as the height of the triangle. So this is the area formula that you're going to see a lot, especially if you're just doing triangles by themselves. But this means the same thing, length and base, height and width, 
same thing, okay? But we're going to use both of them as we explore this together. So I want to know what the area of this triangle is right here, okay? And so I know my area uh, formula, is good, which is area equals one-half times the base times the height, okay? And so I want to know, okay, how, much, how many square feet am I going to need to cover the inside of this triangle? Well, really what we're doing is we are taking kind of this kind of imaginary rectangle, okay? So I'm going to add this part to it so you can kind of visualize it. And we're trying to do the length time the width times the width or the base times the height, which would obviously be 32. So if I real, really quickly, let me fill in my information that I need. So one half times uh, four times eight. Okay. And so we know this would be 32. And so the entire area of my imaginary rectangle that I just made is 32 feet squared. But again, I don't want to know the area of the whole rectangle. I want to know the area of the triangle. So if I get rid of this part, right, I'm taking half of it away. And so now all I'm doing is one half of 32 or one half times 32, which is the same thing as 16 feet square. And so I'm really taking the length of my imaginary uh, rectangle and multiplying it by the height or sorry, by the width of it. Um, but I'm replacing those vocabulary words with base and height when I talk about triangles. And so I'm doing one half of my entire rectangle, which was 32, and then half of it would obviously be 16 feet squared. So if I uh, set this up with square units, I would need 16 of them to cover the inside. The other way a lot of people do it is they might just have 32 divided by 2 instead of saying multiply by 1 half. These reciprocals are the same exact thing. Multiplying by 1 half is the same thing as dividing by 2. Go ahead and try this one. But before you do, um, if it's not a right triangle, a lot of times what they're going to do is they're going to put this dotted line right here. And this dotted line is going to be your height. So they might have some uh, crazy number over here that isn't even needed, right? You're trying to find the base or the bottom of the triangle and the height, okay, which is going to be from the tallest point to the lowest point, basically, right? And then you're going to be able to plug that into your area formula of one half times base times height. And so a lot of times they'll give you these need, unneeded numbers. You don't need this. You only need the base and you need the height. So go ahead and pause this. Um, try to solve it. And if you're confused or you just want to check your answer, go ahead and push play and we'll check it out together. So the first thing we want to do, right, is we want to be able to plug these numbers into my formula. So one half times 24 times 45, okay? And I always like to multiply my whole numbers first. It doesn't really matter how you do it, um, but I like to kind of picture my rectangle first and find the area of that and then divide it into two or multiply by one half. So when I multiplied 45 times 24, I get 1,080, okay? And if, so if that was wrong, just check your multiplication. And then we need to find out what one half of that is or divide that into two. And when I did that, that was 540 inches squared or square inches. So the area of this triangle is 540 inches squared. So hopefully in this video, you didn't only just learn the area formula or maybe you already knew it for a triangle, but you really understand where, understand now where it came from and how, how you can kind of visualize those things in your head. Check out our other videos at Instructed Beats Official on YouTube. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. We really appreciate, appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. Instructed Beats out!